So, what's up? Look, I end up with a tattoo that looks like a dick in my arm. Um, everybody loved it. When I posted that on Instagram, I got over Did they see a heel? Do you really think this is a good tattoo? Yeah. So right now you're here based on bull and a lie. You know, the only one here who's really lying is you. If you're gonna come at me with an attitude, then go kick rocks. Oh yeah, I'm super grateful to have a chance to come back. I wonder who else is here. Brandis, welcome back. Your artist was Mystical Mike. Yes, Mystical Mike. I could be on the top with my superior knowledge in biology. Would you be interested in doing a G clef with the muscular tissue exposed in the negative space? That's actually really, really cool. I was pissed. The healing process was some of the worst pain that I've ever felt. Oh, wow. He used a liner needle instead of actually using a shading needle for well, pretty he, much the whole tattoo. He only had one. It looks like somebody stole your liner. I only had one machine to work with. That's insane. Once it finally seemed like it was fully healed, it was blotchy, color was gone. Oh, it really? It was just garbage. Oh, man. <laughs> That's never a good If you ever came across Mystical Mike again, would you confront him? If I wouldn't get in trouble for it, I probably would punch him in the face. Yeah, my work cut out for me. We don't want our canvases unhappy. So we have an artist standing by in the shop that's willing to work with you. Idea's all yours. She doesn't know Mike's here? You get to look at the design, and if you don't like it, you can walk. I'd love a second chance. We'll head into the shop and meet him. How far can I push the limits? Who will get me to my limit? I'm feeling very nervous right now, but... I'm glad that Ink Masters actually give me another tattoo after having to deal with Mystical Mike. Oh, no way. Hola. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> Do you know how bad I want to punch you in the face right now? Mm, what'd you get? Get yourself an add-on over there? Obviously, Got you're the it. one that commented on my Instagram post saying that it was terrible. It's apocryphal that you should let your body be adorned by someone else without consulting me first. It's disrespectful. It's I disrespectful? Understand your body completely. I understand it's yeah, your body exactly. completely. Yeah, exactly. It's my body, which means I can do whatever the hell I want with it. That's totally true. You destroyed my arm. It was blotchy. It was scarred. It didn't even heal after a month. Are you freaking kidding you me? You should be more patient when it comes to the creation process of art. Patient? Absolutely. I had to get everything worked over. That's hurtful to me. Like, where's the honesty that we had for you to be like, hey, I'd like to do some extra Do you think we could do some I more stuff? I asked you, and you ignored me. I didn't I get the message. I messaged you multiple times. I didn't times. get the message. You I, messaged I wish me I did. back. Guys, Dave, <sighs> this doesn't seem to be going so great. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. I know this is hard for you. Okay, listen, I do have another solution. There's another artist here who's willing to work with Mike, tag team style, to make sure that you get the tattoo that you want. And you can still say no. I can't do it with him alone. He'd have to be crazy to think I'd even let him touch me again. All right, buddy, come on in. Oh, oh this guy. <laughs> Jimmy Litwak, guys. Unbelievable. <sighs> Unbelievable. Much better. Much, Much better? better. <laughs> uh. So Jimmy has agreed to work with Mike together to give you the tattoo that you want. I promise you I will do everything in my power to make sure you walk out of here extremely happy. I trust you, just not you yet. But... It's cool. I respect that. I don't need any help. I'm obviously one of the best artists in the world. Are we all good? I think we're good. All right, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Tag teaming a tattoo with Mike isn't the worst thing I could ever think of but it definitely ranks right up there. I want something to commemorate my wedding. The theme of it was lovebirds, and my favorite flower is a stargazer lily. Kind of thinking of something like, you know, base the flowers mm -hmm. on the bottom, then maybe the birds behind it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Jimmy in there, but I'd like to get a little bit of me in there. Like something like this, I wouldn't feel too comfortable doing. The detail may not be appreciated visually in the totality of the piece. You're talking English, man, but I don't Sorry. understand what you're I, saying. Like, if you're coming into it with doubt, that's not going to give her any confidence. Yeah, I, I feel a lot of doubt from her, and too, it's hard to build myself you, up. You, from you her. should feel doubt from her. <laughs> this is your redemption. It's all I'm trying to do is make up for my past mistakes right now. Please, just give me that chance. I'm, I'm trying I, to. I, I apologize for not having a better vocabulary or a system of tools to better communicate with you right now. 
been waiting a long time for this moment. It gives me a chance to prove myself from all the inconsistencies and irrational behavior that I had, and just maybe there's a chance for me to redeem myself. What's going on, gentlemen? All right, let's take a look at this design. Mike, do you want to present this to Brandis? OK, yes, I do. There are the two uh, lovebirds to represent your marriage. And that floating bow on top? That would be the tying of the knot. Wow, it's definitely more than what I was expecting. Kind of a backhanded compliment. Didn't <laughs> expect anything that great, but then again, she likes it. Jimmy, you have something you'd like I to present? I do. Would you care to see what Jimmy came up with? Yeah. Oh, wow. Two similar takes on the same idea, yeah. totally different schools. Do you have a favorite? My honest gut feeling is Jimmy's. You can see how that looks like a complete circle versus floating. Do you want to get this tattoo? Not if Mike does the whole thing. Well, this is a tag team design, so Mike will be tattooing you, but you also have Jimmy present and tattooing as well. Half and half. I'm willing to give Mike a chance if Mike goes first and Jimmy follows up and finishes up. I'm very grateful that you're going to give me an opportunity. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Good luck. I'm going to make sure it is the best tattoo experience of her life. I'm going to make her eat all those negative words she said about me. Why did you line those leaves? You didn't want a lot of leaves. Is it in the color? Mm, no, it's not. Some of art's biggest mistakes could be some of life's greatest accomplishments. This girl doesn't want to hear the word mistake in her new tattoo. You feel the uh, there's a difference between me and Jimmy Styles? You were just going really slow. That doesn't mean go faster if you're not comfortable going faster. But... Oh, no, I am. I was making sure it was more and more on, on your level of comfort. So it doesn't change the fact that I'm still a selfish prick, but. I don't know. For a tattoo artist, I feel like you can't be selfish. Oh, no, we are very selfish. What? Tattoo artist back home that I've been working with is not in the least bit selfish. Well, that's why I'm on Ink Master, and he's where the he is. Stop for a second. Can we just stop for a second? He's stressing me out. I, I really can't have you here anymore. Mike, his biggest problem is he can't communicate. He's combative. If he's learning anything today, I'm hoping he learns how to communicate. We're creating an experiment of beautiful energy and chaos on your arm. And this it's, is it's, not beautiful energy. This is it, negative. It, I gave you a chance, and then you made a mistake because you didn't follow directions. I'm passionate, and I love what I do. And it's becoming now more insulting to me to sit here and try to convince you otherwise. You and always it's, have something to say. Because I have something valuable, and it's worth it's saying. It's not valuable. no one has the balls to say it. That's why I say it. People need to hear it. Walk away and just be gone. <clears throat> yeah, better keep walking. Unbelievable, man. She's not letting me finish my piece, and now I have to come here and redeem myself because she has no respect for me? Oh. You really wouldn't be open for him to doing anything left on this? It's still my arm, you know. What if I left something that's not a Everyone maybe deserves a second chance. Here's your third one. Don't up. Just hold on one sec. I've been thinking. If you would be willing to finish the tattoo and do the sky, then I would be willing to let you do it. This way, we can each have our closure. It's very, it's very generous of you. Finally, you let me come in to finish you off in the last 15 minutes. If it lets her sleep at night by letting me do the sky, I hope she does. All righty, we're all done. We'll take a look. Yep. It's nice to not be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good. Wow. Are you happy with the outcome? Very happy. I love my tattoo. I love everything about it. Let's go, Mike. I definitely don't want to ever see you again, but Jimmy, I would love to get tattooed from you again. The most important thing is that you you love your tattoo. That's all I cared about coming back here for. I'm just happy that Brandis is happy and I don't ever have to see her again. I don't need redemption. I'm a great tattoo artist. Thanks, Jimmy, very much. All in all, when I look at this tattoo, I'm happy with it. But there is no way that I would work anything artistically with Mike again. Another happy customer, finally. Brandis redeemed. What do you think about that, huh? 
Didn't see that coming. Ink Master helped build my name. So now I have a reputation to maintain. If there's a client that didn't like something that I did, I have to make it right. Can't leave people just out of sorts. Stephanie, your artist was Sebastian. Yeah. Well, that brings us to this week's elimination tattoo, cover-ups. You got an idea what you want to get? A large beach scene, like the sand and the ocean. Is that right? That is right. <laughs> you not get a Sebastian? I have no idea what on a realistic beach could cover a solid black sun. I don't know what this thing's going to look like in 10 years. It's going to end up touched up. We're looking for longevity. I can't give you a win if your tattoo won't be around to be judged in 10 years. You're here because you're not happy. Yeah. Initially, the colors look really pretty. Yeah. So a lot of people will come and be like, wow, that's really nice. And then it's always the, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's a beach. And they're like, what? Is that a bush? Honestly, like, it is embarrassing. What did your husband think of it? When I first came home, he's kind of like, wait, what? What is that? You don't have to see it every day. Oh, well, he you know, does. Exactly. I feel worse for him than for you. How does the tattoo look now? The tribal sun, you can still see it. Through the bush? Through the bush. So it wasn't really even a successful cover-up. You know I have Sebastian here in the shop. Right. I'm giving you the opportunity okay. to talk to him, confront him, squash whatever you have with him, and possibly get this thing fixed. He's like a cocky guy, you know, so I don't know, like, how open he is to hearing, like, that I'm not happy, mm -hmm. but I definitely want to tell him. You talk to him about reworking this thing, you can get it, or you can walk away. Everything is up to you. Cool with that? Yeah, definitely. All right, why don't you head into the shop? Okay, great. The thought of having to wear this tattoo forever is really just not even an option. I really would just want to kind of call him out in a sense of, you are a better artist than this, so I don't understand why the tattoo I have doesn't match what you are supposedly capable of doing. Oh my goodness. What on earth? You remember it, right? Yeah, yeah. You, I, I remember the level of difficulty. But at the same time, I kind of feel like it could have been executed better. I think you were trying uh, to play it safe. No, Would I, you want a, a mediocre tattoo? What you have isn't mediocre. I feel that you should have given me some better suggestions or even telling me like, okay, listen, photorealism's not gonna work because you need an outline. It did work. You can see the sun coming through. Let me see. In the bush. Mm. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I see being that it's done what it's done, I, I can go more on there. I'm, I'm, I can save you. Come on, man. I got to show off. So do you think that you can eliminate the bush? That's where I'm, like, torn, because I don't want to stay with something that I don't like mm -hmm. and then just keep digging that hole deeper and deeper. I am so nervous right now that he has to cover up a cover-up of a cover-up. Okay. If there was nothing there, what would you want? I don't know what's going to be effectively able to come. It doesn't matter what's effectively okay. able. That's my job. Okay, that's fair. So what do you want? Okay, so basically there's certain flowers that I'm cool with. Peacock, um, owls. I mean, even if it's a combination of peacocks and flowers. I just want to have a tattoo that I'm happy with, that I love. I am very nervous, though. No, yeah, you should be. Cover-ups are by far tougher than a regular tattoo. Initially, it was a cover-up challenge anyway. So I'm gonna earn my redemption the way it should be earned. I'm gonna do what I set out to do the first time, and I'm gonna do it right this time. Sebastian, come on down here. So what did you end up doing for Stephanie with the design? A complete cover-up. A complete cover-up. Have you ever completely covered up a piece of work that you've done before that was already a cover-up? This is um, the third time. You know, no, I actually haven't done that That's before. That's crazy, right? It's the first time for you, and are you nervous? How do you feel about this? I am. I'm this? still a little nervous, because I don't want it to be worse than what it looks like now. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I was going to say, it can only go up from here. Yeah. But I am nervous. All right, Sebastian, ready to present this design? Yes, sir. Stephanie, are you ready to check it out? I am ready, yeah. All right, buddy, let's take a look at this. This the rough colors. I didn't sit down and Sharpie paint everything in, but. Wow. Tell me how this is going to cover up the existing tattoo. The bush at the bottom is about yay wide. Mm -hmm. When I run this blue through there, that dark blue is going to bury that green. There's no way that green is going to be able to push through that dark blue. I'm, I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? You know he's a great artist. 
but a lot of your work that I've seen can be like, not so peacock flowery. All right, redemption on the line for Sebastian and for yourself, frankly. Yeah. Do you want to get this today? I do want to get that. That's what I like yes, to hear. Yes, I do. I think it came out beautiful. Ready to bang this out? Oh, yeah. All right, buddy, let's do it. Uh, yes. All right, yeah. All right, good luck, Thank Steph. you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave. Good okay. luck. It's big, it's a lot of coverage, and I'm not convinced yet that that's gonna cover up that bush. That bush is really, really dark. I could be wrong. So let's see what happens. Holy What if it's perfect? I think I got a winner. Well, don't like make it fit. Like no, make sure it actually does fit. I can't make it fit if it doesn't, you know? I know, I just don't wanna have to do it three times. It really is beautiful. But like, I'm also second guessing everything. Should I look at the stencil first before you? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, I'm gonna look at it. Of course. Okay. When he showed me the beach scene, at that time, I was like, woohoo! So, fingers crossed. Now I can let you look at the stencil. Okay. So, okay, so wait. This here, this is just gonna be the shape of the shading? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Trust me. Very nice, okay. We'll be starting now. Was that horrible? I think it's definitely maybe more painful than childbirth. Now. All right. Hop up. Take a look. Okay. Oh, I'm like, I'm so excited. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I can't even. Oh, yay! It's a oh, yay! It's so exciting. Let's talk about some cover ups. Guys, come on down. Let me take a look at this thing. <laughs> wow. You can't see it at all. You wouldn't even know that there was something under what's here. Two times. And then something under that. This is a double cover-up. Ultimately, redemption for Sebastian? Absolutely. I'm so happy and I'm proud. happy to hear that, because you do not want to cover that up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's really cool that she's that excited. I mean, because that's what I strive for. I think that's redemption. I'm Stephanie, done. congratulations. Thank you. Sebastian, you well done, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Man. All right, guys, take care. Oh, I'm nervous. Dan, welcome back. Glad to be back. So, your artist was Kyle. A luchador mask, is it fine that we have like the half mask? Yeah, or? no, I don't think that's going to work. I have to get Day of the Dead in here somehow, too. This isn't going to win this challenge. I want to walk out of here with something that. You know, I'm gonna want to show off to everybody. I want to you with my designs. He doesn't give a about my standing inside this competition. Unless you're sharing 100 grand, I gotta make sure this is something I want. <laughs> what happened with Kyle? We butted heads right off the start. I made a comment about how if he split his 100 grand with me, I'd let him tattoo whatever he wanted. But until then, I'm the one that had to have this thing on my skin forever. Sure. I wanted something that I wanted. And that's kind of where everything went downhill from that, that point. That way went downhill from that comment? Yeah. I don't find that to be an insulting comment. My memory of the tattoo is that it came out pretty good. Oh, it looked phenomenal when it was yeah. done. So why are you here today? He was busting my balls about the whole concept to begin with. We compromised and then when all was said and done, all that detail that he was so worried about getting into the tattoo completely washed out and turned gray. But it also sounds like you have some personal issues with Kyle. The attitude, the cockiness, the arrogance, and you know, like he just wouldn't work with me on it. Well, Dan, as you know, Kyle is here. He's in the shop right now. And what we'd like to offer you is an opportunity to go talk to Kyle, maybe square whatever issues you guys have. And if that goes good, look into getting this tattoo fixed up. It really depends on how this conversation goes. I'm curious to see how that goes, so. too. Why don't you head in the shop? All right. I think when Kyle sees me, he's either going to walk away, call me an asshole, or want to punch me in the face. Who knows? He's already proven a hundred times that he's got a short fuse. Let's see if he's changed. Mr. Dunbar, you know why I'm here, right? I figure that you're just a cheap mother This is exactly what I knew was going to happen. So why the are you here? You like cameras that much? No, because I'm here to put you in your place. 
You want to be a dick? I'm sorry. Did you apologize for causing me a hundred thousand dollar loss? First off, I'm a bitch. loss. I didn't cause you a loss. You sat here and told me that if I didn't share my hundred thousand dollars with you, what there was I no way I was going to do a tattoo. The one. When they what? judged that tattoo, they said it doesn't fit the challenge. God damn it! That was my day. Blackie raised the that I do. You me. I owe you nothing. I can't get redemption tattooing you. You. I compromised with you, and you still you gave me compromised. Me. You hey, expected you fifty thousand dollars so that you could get a tattoo. Yeah, you. First off, get the out of my face. I ain't going nowhere. Right? This is my you shop. Kyle ain't gotta do. Shit. I'm a goddamn artist. Do what the I want. Go ahead. Go. Right. Get out of here, you curtain jerker. Good luck with everything in that attitude of yours. Maybe someday you'll learn to swallow that pride. Suck my. Yeah. All right, my day is done. I've had many a sleepless night thinking of that day when I was trying to work with him. It's not time for me to try and compromise anymore. I don't know if my son will be proud of me, but he'll still learn what his dad expects him to do in the situation that someone's trying to use him, abuse him, push him around, stand up to him, kick him in their weak ass knees, call him a curtain jerker. How are you gonna cost me $100,000, little bitch mother Camilla, good to see you again. Your artist was Julia. Yes. Today, you must tattoo an animal. We got this. It's coming out great. You don't have any areas of soft, smooth gray. You don't give it that realistic look because it's incredibly dark. I know how my gray washes, and I know how it's going to lighten up. No, you don't. Yes, I do. How long what have you been mean? tattooing? Five years. So you have no idea what your heel tattoo is going to look like in 10 or 12 years. I asked for an, a portrait of an elephant, okay. and I end up getting an uncircumcised dick with one ball. And you don't want that? No. <laughs> what don't you like? Right now, how it heal is just it's smoke. It has no strong lines. There's no eye. I voted my tattoo as one of the worst tattoos. You did. The placement is so off because that when you turn your forearm, like I your just have arm a big isn't ear. like this all the time, and when you turn it, there's just a big ear. It only looks right from one point of view. That's the reason why I think she should be in the bottom. She knew what she was doing. She just didn't care. You know, she just wanted to do the challenge and forget about it. You know that I have Julia here in the shop. Do you see me? It. You see me right now? This Does it look is, like I give a shit? I have to Does deal it look with. like I give a shit? Do you want to go have a chat with her? Yes. Head on into the shop. It upsets me because you think about the whole experience and you want to be proud of it, but I don't even talk about it. I just wish it never happened. Just look at it. Clearly, yeah, it, it shows It you. shows in your tattoo that you don't give a shit. It shows in your face that you're just a douchebag. Hi. So, what's up? Look. I end up with a tattoo that looks like a dick in my arm. Um, everybody loved it. When I posted on Instagram, I got over Did they see a heel? Do you really think this is a good tattoo? Yeah. So right now you're here based on bull and a lie. You know, the only one here who's really lying is you. If you're gonna come at me with an attitude, then go kick rocks. Julia, you're a fake ass bitch. You Who are ass. you? Oh, the candy ass. Yeah, the candy ass. Yes, it smelled like diarrhea the whole time. Oh, God. Look for your breath you and your stink ass bull. You, you had no experience tattooing a dark skinned woman, now did you? Um, no. Actually, and oh, I tattoo shit. dark skinned people a... all day. Right, which is why my tattoo is. This is all this like bunch of attitude. Which is why you can you all kick overworked rocks. my skin and left sores on my rocks. ass. No one else here seems happy with the that you presented them with either. Are you happy? Absolutely not. Were you happy? No, absolutely not. This Why are you attacking all of us? What, ha what, happened what happened to that voice? What happened to that, oh my god, you know, everything's gonna yeah, be okay. Yeah, my voice is good till you come and f with me. What happened to that? You guys, hold up, hold up. What's going on? Well, you know, get up tattoos. It's not just one of us. What, three of us here? The fact that I'm here, it's because I think you can do a good job, even though you up the job you did. I would love to And do... I walked in and you were screaming okay, well, let's, at let's... me. Even her little it's squeaky scream, voice sorry, changed like... now. She speaks normal, apparently. I get in mom mode when people piss me off and then I get the mom <laughs> voice. Guys, let's, let's stay at the issue at hand. Sorry, I don't like seeing people unhappy. But I also don't like being attacked, you know what I mean? At least give me a hello first, we'll work it out. If you confront me with attitude, I'm gonna give you attitude back. I came here to make things right, so whoever wants to make it right, I'm down. Let's start over. Julia's saying she's willing to make it right. Who here is willing to work with Julia? Not after she yelled at me for no reason. So you're done? Mm-hmm. 100% done? 100% done. Good luck, guys. All right. My name's Frank McManus. I was on season three of Ink Master. I'm here to prove myself to other tattooers that think I suck just because I'm a young kid in this industry. Execution-wise, with a single needle, keeping it thin and going a little lighter would have went a long way with this tattoo. Frank, 
You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I think they made the wrong call. Getting kicked off the show so quickly made me realize that I became too comfortable. So I moved from Pennsylvania to San Francisco to challenge myself to grow as a person and an artist. I want this redemption because it's a second chance to prove who I am and what I can do. I'm ready for this this time. Feels weird to be back. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to make this happen. Fred, welcome back to Ink Master. And you brought your girlfriend, Darlene. Yes. Your artist was Frank McManus. Yes. My canvas wants a realistic baboon. It's a badass-looking design. What do you think about this baboon thing? You can't even read what it is. I mean, this outline is chaotic. And this is a rough one, man. The detail just does not translate. If you just saw the tongue, you're not going to know that's the tongue. It's like a ball sack. <laughs> When he first finished the tattoo, I thought it was OK. After I got home, it just scabbed up. It was horrible. And you yourself said, why did you put the chin where his nipple is? He has a nipple growing out of the baboon's chin. That's not how they look in the wild. No, they don't. The tongue is the worst. I didn't really notice it until it was one of you guys said it. Said, the tongue looks like a nutsack. And that's what he and said. And then I looked at it, I was like, wow, it does. <laughs> that's, that's not good at all. Darlene, what do you think of the tattoo? I think that it's ugly now. Did you yeah. think it was ugly then? Well, it was vibrant when it first got done. But as it healed, it was unrecognizable. Are you going to make sure this doesn't happen again? I'm going to try. All right, Fred, I got Frank McManus in the shop. I want you and Darlene to head in there and let him know what you think. You guys okay. down for that? Yeah. All right, I'm counting on you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Hold down the fort. Head on in, guys. I'm embarrassed of this tattoo. Nobody ever once said, oh, that looks nice. I just can't wait to see this guy so I can get this off my chest. Because I can't get this off my chest. Where is he at? There he is, right there. I trusted you, man. Tell me what this looks like. Tell me what that is. Does that look like a baboon to you? Still looks Seriously. like a baboon to me. It looks like an alligator with his mouth broken open. This is supposed to be a like masterpiece? A yes. a That's masterpiece? looks like a nutsack, man. This is horrible. I'm not in my own why, 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 Frank why, with the bold violin for you? Oh, you're, my God. you're a professional, man. You gotta do your job, man. I'm stuck with this forever. I'm sorry. I apologize. Thanks. And I'd love Thanks. to make you both happy. And I know I can do that. I'll let you check out the drawing first. I'll work with you. I don't think so. What do you think? First time, shame on him. Second time, shame on you. That's what I think. I'm telling you, I can make it happen. I doubt it. I don't want you to do this again. The whole thing was a nightmare, Fred. Guys, darling, bring it in. Come here. What can we do to make you happy? Ultimately, Frank is here for redemption. Yes, 100%. We want to make you happy. Be willing to consult with him. Let him draw something. And then if you hate it, you walk out of here. What about that? That can't harm anybody. Check out your sketches. Want to do that? He's the yeah. ultimate, well, he makes the ultimate decision. Actually, I feel that you make the ultimate decision. Am I right? I just get nasty when it's not the decision I want. Oh, it's OK, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. We don't commit until the machine goes into the skin. Walk out of here anytime. OK. All right, brother, good luck yeah. to you. Thank you, man. All right. I'll make you happy, I promise. We'll see. What do we want to do this time, man? I got her sign on this arm. I was thinking about getting mine a nice, gnarly Capricorn. OK. It's a goat now. Not a ram. Oh, right, right. Go, go. You don't want, like, anything around it or no, any... No, no, okay. no, Frank. Don't start getting creative. Flat, easy. Don't get anything really hard. Yeah. I can do hard. I can I'm do hard. I'm scared for you to do hard, Frank. I like that one. You really gonna do it, huh? Maybe. I wanna see what his drawings look like first. And then we'll decide then. All right, man. Sounds good, bro. Dude, thank you, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being nice. <laughs> Only for the moment, friend. <laughs> you want to trust this guy? I just want to know. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. You really like Frank, don't you? I don't want to kill him anymore. I think he might do good. I don't know, Frank. That's why it's called redemption. Let's see if he can redeem himself. I want this one right. I can show it off. Me too. Don't make him nervous. I won't make him nervous, but I will be critical of what's going on. I really want to show people who I really am, what I can really do. But I have an uphill battle here, man. I got to make both of them happy, especially her, because he's listening to her. She's intense. She's real intense. Frank, bring it down, bud. What'd you guys talk about? Getting the Capricorn. 
symbol on my arm. Capricorn's a goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. I want the, the astrological okay. Capricorn. The astrological one has a tail on it. All right, buddy, let's take a look at what you came up with. So yeah, it's uh, the goat body with the fish tail. Is this the astrological one? Mm-hmm, yep. I have a weird looking sign there, friend. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Charlene? You look skeptical. Uh, I am very skeptical at this point. That tail, that concerns me. Why does that concern you? It's a little too involved, and I'm a little concerned about his ability to detail. She wants a regular goat. Why don't you guys have a chat and talk about it before you make any decision? What do you think? The tail is a little fishy. You like the tail? It's a little mermaidy, right? Yes, it looks like a, a mermaid with a goat head. I don't like it, period. You don't like it? Yuck. If he makes changes to it, we'll see what happens. We talking about somebody who jacked you up already. You don't yeah, have I, to get it. I know, I don't have to get it. You don't want that. Guys, what is happening over there? You guys seem heated in debate. She doesn't like it. I think the tail is too much, Dave. Well, I reacted too. I was like, that is weird. But that's what they look like. I don't, you know, you can't argue with that. Can he have a twink to his liking? You can make any changes yeah. you want. The tail is a little too mermaidy. Yeah, ah, it's really standing out. The tail, I keep looking at it. I can do a new tail for you so you can see. It's ultimately whatever you want. Yeah. Big decision. It sounds like a few tweaks and you might be ready to go. This is his choice. Um... So is this a green light? Are we gonna move forward? I think I'm gonna go with it. All right, buddy. Good luck. Let's go back to the shop, man. The tail that I wanted, it only has two pieces that just goes. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can do that. We'll use this, but I'll just draw in the two pieces. OK. Yeah. Let me see. It doesn't look bad without the yeah. tail. I'm serious. Yeah, it looks kind of hot without the tail. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I'm telling you, Fred. It seems like that tail should be like right here. So you get an idea of. Ah. I think it almost has Just to be. Just do the body, Frank. We know down you can do more. that. And yeah. And, Cause it'd be down more. And... But please don't get the tail. Don't put them under any added pressure. Just get the body. I want the tail on it. We can buy a tail. It's my arm. And if it's wrong, you're gonna be miserable. A Capricorn's a weird animal anyway. So if the tail's going, so what? I'm always right, Fred. Just don't get the tail. I'm telling you. I'm getting the tail. Get the bulk of the tattoo now, and wait. Zip it. Let me handle this for a minute. That's why I'm here, to help you handle it. Yeah, it's just, if we keep with the tail, man, it's going to be all out of balance. I'm glad you admitted it now. Don't overdo yeah. your what you can't do, right? Yeah. OK, we'll go with El Capitan over there. Thank you. And the hooves, I want them to pop. Yeah. If I wasn't here, Fred would have came home with that tail. Take a deep breath and push. <laughs> Please don't add any nuts to my Capricorn goat. No balls on the goat. But man, I'm so good at balls. <laughs> I haven't gotten a tattoo since the baboon incident. Just, oh, yeah? It kind of scarred me. I really want to make it right, you know what I mean? And really, really show everybody what's up. Yeah. You uh, hop up, check that out. Nice, Frank. Yeah, you dig it? Yes, I like it. I love the detail in those horns and the fur and the scales. Love the eyes. Yes. And it's little goatee. Did a great job. Thanks for not beating me up. Capricorn. <laughs> Guys, come on down here. Most importantly, I'm going to start with you. What do you think? I think that removal of the tail was better to go with. I love how the swirl is. And I love the horns and the goatee. Oh, he man. redeemed himself, man. How does that feel for you, man? It's a huge relief. Yeah, I'm stoked. He's off my hit list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my redemption. He's super happy. She's super happy. Thank God. Take it easy. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. I knew you could do it. Yeah. I just wasn't so sure. Did I. Right, right. <laughs> it is really weird.